Hello, my name is Peter Fewings. Um, I'm a senior lecturer at the University of the West of England, involved in teaching project managers. The definition um, of construction project management, which is what we're going to be talking about today, is the planning, monitoring and control of all aspects of a project and the motivation of those involved to achieve the project ob objectives on time to cost, quality and performance. The increasing importance of project management and the adoption by consultants as representatives of the clients is a growing area. Its wide importance, the use of British standards to define the role and the involvement of two project management institutions, the Project Management Institute, which is based in North America, and here in the UK, the Association for Project Management has moved the role forward. The definition suggests control and motivation. Now my guest here today is Phil Hodgson, who is a senior project manager at the Ovarup's office in Bristol. Phil, can you tell us um, a little bit about Arabs and the role of the project manager in Arabs? Certainly. Um, Arup is an international firm of designers, planners and project managers. Um, we have um, a presence throughout the world in, in many of the countries and we've played a leading part in, in me many of, of you know, the world's iconic projects. Um, recently we've been involved in, in the Beijing Olymp Olympics, we were involved in 2012. Um, historically we were engineers for the Sydney Opera House. So a number of, of, of great buildings um, and, and infrastructure projects throughout the world. Um, traditionally, we started out as a firm of consulting engineers and have expanded over the years. And for the last 20 to 25 years, we've, we've been um, developing project management as a business as we see the complexity of our projects increase. Um, and the, pro the complexity of clients' projects increase and, and the, the increasing need to um, have that direct control and focus on the management of projects. Um, so the role of a project manager within Arup is, it has, has two facets to it. There's uh, the first facet, which is our primary business, which is managing projects for our clients. And we have involvement in all stages of a project. Um, we may take a project right through from commencement to completion. We may only have an involvement in a certain stage of a project, um, but, but certainly through the planning, design, construction phases, handover, and also um, the project definition stages. We also have an involvement in managing um, the large multidiscipline design commissions that the Arab are commissioned to undertake. Um, and that can be in a design management capacity or a contract management capacity. And is the time cost quality model relevant, maybe even adequate? I think it still is relevant. It is, it, it, it's very relevant in that it sets the parameters and constraints within which the project must be delivered. I think there are, there are elements outside the time cost quality um, triangle that also needs to be considered and ha are starting to have um, a larger influence um, on the uh, deliverability of the projects and the constraints within which we're working under. Um, there's a lot of focus on benefits and benefit management and enabling the projects to deliver the benefits that are foreseen at the business case stage and increasingly with, with the um, situation with regards to climate change and, and use of carbon, the, the influence of, of sustainability and how that is managed and delivered through the project process is increasingly important um, as well. I see that, yes.